Welcome back here on Live Now from Fox, and I do want to get to some breaking news that we are following out of Sudan here. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby now confirming the death of a second American citizen there in Sudan. On a virtual call with press, Kirby told reporters the unnamed American died Tuesday. He said, quote, we extend our deepest condolences to the family. We continue to make clear at the highest levels of our government the leadership of both the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces that they are responsible for ensuring the protection of civilians and non-combatants, including people from third countries and humanitarian staff that are working there to save lives. Kirby also pointed to the U.S. brokered ceasefire that started at midnight on April 24th, so two days ago there. Quote, although there are some reports of violence and sporadic shelling and firing, we're glad to see that the levels of violence generally appear to have gone significantly down. We urge both military factions to fully uphold the ceasefire and to further extend it. We've said this many, many times that the violence is simply unconscionable and it must stop. We've got to do what's right for the Sudanese people. They want a return to peace and security in Khartoum and around the country, and they want to see a transition to civilian authority, and we need to keep working at that. Kirby pointed to remarks from National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, who indicated President Biden, quote, has asked for every conceivable option to help as many Americans as possible. That effort will continue, and we are actively facilitating the departure of a relatively small number of Americans who have indicated to us they want to leave. We continue to deploy U.S. intelligence, surveillance, and uh, assets there, unmanned assets, to support land evacuation routes, which Americans are using, and we're still moving naval assets within the region to provide support along the coast and off of Port Sudan. American citizens arriving in Port Sudan, and we are helping to facilitate their onward travel as appropriate. So once again, we have learned from the White House spokesperson there that a second American citizen has died amid the fighting in Sudan that is responsible for hundreds of deaths at this point, as we do see the Sudanese army fighting with a paramilitary group.